Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of your general reading. So I pray that you all are doing well, staying safe, and bringing the justice. <laughs> anyway, Libra, that's what um, that's what your sign is about. It's about justice, it's about fairness, but also about bringing things into balance, you know, and about beauty and charm, all of those great things. So Libra, um, if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button and hit that notification button as well. What is this? Oh, my computer is doing something crazy. But anyway, as I said, if you like this video, hit the uh, notification button just so you get the alerts um, whenever I post new content. And if you like, um, well, yeah, I already said that. If you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below. Check the description box. So, Libra, the most important thing to remember, as we all know, if there are some things in this message that don't resonate with you, that don't make sense, or that are just totally off the wall, then you already know what to do. Leave the message on the floor. Leave them at the door for someone else. They will come along and pick them up, I promise and guarantee you. So, first two cards that we have out the deck. We have projection and then we have prayers. All right, so here we go. All right, so looking at this mirror right here, what do we see? I'm picking up an energy of, um, well, reflection because memories I mean well someone could be thinking about memories reflecting back on memories what I was going to say is mirrors they cast a reflection to us they show us um, exactly what it is that's going on so we can see ourselves we can reflect ourselves we can reflect back on things that are happening to us or things that are currently happening to us so it's just doing a lot of soul searching a lot of deep um, introspection is what I'm getting as well. So this very well could be someone doing this for themselves or doing this for a particular situation, but just kind of doing a lot of reflection and now someone is able to see themselves a bit clearer and in order, in them seeing themselves a bit clearer, now they're able to see other people, um, maybe in this different light or in a different way as well. With the prayers card here, um, this is telling me that someone has been in an energy of just change or wanting to change. So again, we're looking in the mirror, we're reflecting back, we're um, evaluating certain circumstances that have brought us to this moment right here. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of deep feeling, deep emotion. You know, just the things that someone is seeing, the things that someone is uh, bringing into their realization now at this particular time. So, let's see. All right, we get the Seven of Wands, the World, ooh, and the Magician card. All right, what I'm picking up with this energy is someone is not letting anything stand in their way. Um, something that they've been blocked from for a while. Now they're in the energy of just blocking out other people. So the way that I've described that is this energy, whoever this is, whoever this person is that I'm describing, are these people, it doesn't matter. Um, you apply the energy where it goes. But someone is tired of having to constantly defend themselves. Um, Someone is tired of having to constantly defend themselves, but at the same time, they're not going to allow other people to just infiltrate them with their energies. They're not going to let other people come in and give their opinions, give their unsolicited, unsolicited advice. Um, this right here, as I said, they're not giving up. They're not going to stop. They're not giving up on themselves. They're not giving up on some situation because with the world card and the magician here, and these are two major arcana cards coming out um, back to back. Um, there's something here that someone has now, I feel, come into some kind of completion within themselves. Maybe not a completion, but now they're seeing things for how they are. Now things are making a lot more sense. They could be seeing um, 
more with the third eye. Um, you know, I say that their vision, well, we do have the mirror here. They're able to see things a bit further now than uh, what is truly, uh, things are truly beyond meets the eye. Did I say that correctly? I don't know. But anyway, um, they're now, they're, they're, they're seeing things in a totally different way. They feel a bit complete in some ways, or they feel as if they're coming to this place of wholeness, but also they're coming to this place of awareness. And that's the main thing. So pretty much instead of letting other people speak for them or letting other people um, project because we do have this uh, projection, as I said, under this scrying mirror, instead of allowing other people to project their energies on them, they are now blocking out those energies, which is a good thing because I feel that with this, this person, whoever this is, they're not able to think clearly. They're not able to see things for how they truly are. The blinders are no longer on. They have taken the rose tinted colored glasses off pretty much. So, all right, Princess of Cups comes out in the reverse, and then the Three of Wands, and they're being very unapologetic about it, okay? They're being very unapologetic about it, whatever is going on with the situation. This shit has gone on too long, okay? This has gone on entirely too long, whatever this is. I don't know who that's for or what it's about, but that's just what I received and that's just what I gave out to you. This has been going on too long. We have been letting people rule us. We have been letting people decide our fate, um, pretty much not taking our own resources into our own hands and making our own um, making our own realities. So instead of letting other people rule them and letting other people decide what is going to happen, now they're just taking charge of their own lives and they are being very unapologetic about it with this Princess of Cups and the Three of Wands right there. Because now we are, we're, we're, we're in an energy of awaiting the, um, awaiting the results of something. Or we're looking for our new our ships to come in, so to speak, right there. So, not investing and not choosing to go with these energies that are just trying to um, project negativity, project pessimism, and just a lot of criticism. They're no longer in this anymore. So it's shut down time. Shut it down. Shut it all the way down. Okay. Oh, yes, honey. Here we go. Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Eight of Cups. Okay. What I'm picking up right here is this Nine of Pentacles. This could be this person. They are now, um, they're now feeling their self-worth. They're now uh, looking at themselves in an entirely different way. So, as I said, because we've blocked out these energies and we've gotten to this place of knowing that we have the awareness, that we are very conscious about what's going on and what has been going on, to be honest, whoever that's for. I don't know what's been going on with the situation, as I said, that um, someone is very much well aware. So now they're standing up on their own and they're being very independent. They're being independent and now they are in this energy of... Um, creating new circumstances for themselves and in creating these new circumstances for themselves creating this new reality for themselves that's going to entail them walking away from particular situations and it could be walking away from these energies that keep that have been trying to um still get in their ear or get in their energy about something uh someone has been trying to influence someone Mm. Okay, someone could have been influencing someone about a relationship And I say that because the other energy that I pick up with this is There's someone here as well This very well could be this person that I just described But this could be another energy This person, as I said, someone who's just single Who's worked hard, who's very independent And they have just... they. 
they've just acquired so uh, many things for themselves. It doesn't necessarily have to be materialistic things. It doesn't have to be money or anything. It could just be a total different way of living. Um, just a vast improvement from where they were. Because with this Empress energy right there, this is about growth. This is about stability. It's about beauty. Come on, beauty. And I told you uh, that's what the Libra is all about. Beauty, charm, grace. This is all the thing. These are all the things that I've just described right here. Somebody who might be living on their own or someone who might be in their own energy. But they're in this they're in this specific energy of now knowing their self-worth and now finding um, finding just their abundance in many different things. Um, you know, just having a new and totally different outlook on life. So whoever this person is, this other energy right here, they could very well be returning or coming back. And I say that because the Eight of Cups right here, I did say we're walking away from some people, we're walking away from some situations, but we are um, being guided back to others. So you all put that energy where it goes. And whoever that's for. I know I always do a lot of talking here and I just describe different scenarios. So wherever the storyline fits in your life, that's you know, totally up to you. But here we go with the Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Three of Cups. Damn, I cannot make this up. I did just say that someone is being guided back to someone with this Nine of Wands energy. This is this is pretty much someone who has been on the fence. And when I say on the fence, they've been very guarded. They've been very, um, a bit hostile, possibly. I, I just received that word, but whoever that's for. But someone who's just been very um, defensive. They put a lot of walls up and not let a lot of people in. So, well, here's the thing. They were letting people in, but they were letting the wrong people in and possibly blocking the wrong people out. But now it seems as if, if this is indeed describing the situation that I said in the um, just a few minutes ago, if someone who, if this is the person who's blocking out other situations or other people or the parties, but they see this other person who's been in the energy of just being very, um, independent, living on their own, taking care of themselves, but also seeing this person as a very stable, dependable person as well. This is the energy that they are being guided back from. Possibly in the past, they could have put up walls, put up the defense, not allowed this energy to come in. Um, because again, they had other energies over here that were kind of in their ear because the three of cups right here talks about a reunion a reconciliation people coming together to celebrate so this could very well be happening right now or this is already uh taking place keep in mind that these energies are timeless so whenever you come upon these readings that's when it was meant for you to hear and that's when this message is meant for you so three of cups here though definitely so Reunion time. Reunion. It could be reunion with family. It could be a reunion with loved ones, uh, personal, um, close, intimate relationships. Or it could be friends. It could be at co-workers. You know, whatever reunion it this is. But this is about a gathering, a reconciliation of sorts, you know. Um... Now the song is playing through my head. Uh, my place, my place. That song came out in two thousand four. Yeah, two thousand four, I believe. With it's Nelly's song, but Jaheem um, is featured on the song. So if you're familiar with that song, come on over to my place. Um, look, someone could be coming over to somebody's place. I don't know. I just said a reconciliation or a reunion is happening. Ooh. I just know, okay, we get the Nine of Cups right there. So, oh shit, we get the Nine of Cups. That's wish fulfillment. That is oh, our hopes and our prayers and our dreams coming into fruition right there. What we've been wishing and hoping and praying for is finally happening. So these prayers, these affirmations, these meditations, these dreams, whatever you've been doing, Libra, keep on doing it because it seems to be working because you're about to get what you want possibly. 
That's all I'm saying. Ten of Wands comes out in the reverse. We are dropping the burdens. Mm, and we're dropping this conflict. Five of Wands. There could still be a bit of a conflict with this situation right here. And when I say that, someone might be feeling a bit conflicted in this decision to move forward because they could be in an energy of just a bit of worry is what I'm picking up. They could be worried that... Uh, they could be worried that this particular situation, yes, this is something that I want. This is something that I prayed for. This is something that I've asked for. And now it seems as if it's finally coming into fruition. Now this is less of a burden. However, at the same time, this uh, situation, especially if it involves people who've not spoken or talked to each other in a significant amount of time, they could feel a bit nervous right here. They could feel that maybe there's a bit of conflict. Now, say if there was a little bit of drama when you all last saw each other, they could be thinking, okay, is this same issue going to be uh, brought up? Are they going to start bringing up past things? Are we going to be in that same place? So this adds a little bit extra um, weight to the situation. But with this Three of Cups here and with this Nine of Cups, um, here as well. I don't feel as if this is a situation that is going to be a negative one. This is something that is going to be a welcome relief for people. Let's see. It's going to be a shocker though. It's going to be a shocker. It's going to shock the hell out of somebody. Um, here we go with the five of I mean, well shit, this is the tower card, but then this is the Five of Swords right here. So, I feel as if, okay, there might be a bit of, uh, okay, there might be a bit of conflict. Now, when I say conflict, not entirely with the situation, but I feel as if this might come about in such an unexpected way that, <laughs> okay. It's just going to have somebody laid out. <laughs> somebody might fall out. Somebody might faint. I don't know. Get the vapors, honey. Get the, get the smelling salts. Because uh, I don't know what's happening here. But I don't... Usually with these cards, especially with this Five of Swords cards, it does speak a bit about um, psyching ourselves out, manipulation, what I feel right here, this is somebody saying, okay, this is a bit too good to be true right here. So again, they might not trust this situation entirely because they might feel as, okay, this is some kind of trick. This is not how things go. This is completely bonkers. So this will feel, this will have someone, you know, just reeling from the changes with that tower card right there. Yeah, it looks scary. It looks all uh, chaotic. The fires are going. The tower is falling. People are falling out of the tower. But here's the thing. The tower is just an epiphany. The tower is just um, some kind of change that's going on. It could be unexpected change. And that's what I feel is going to just totally catch someone off guard and possibly make them feel as if this can't be real. This can't be real at all. So... I look at these two cards right now as a positive right here. Someone could be totally caught off guard is what I'm saying in such an unexpected way. Damn, Libra. How fucking exciting. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all know I like to curse a lot. But I'm excited for you, hell. Y'all um, write it down in the comments. Send me an email. Let me know what happened with this situation. Anyway, Libra, you are... Oh, wait a minute. How do we handle this? What is going on? Okay. I forgot. I pulled these two cards um, because lately for these readers, I've been forgetting these love message cards. So that's why I pulled them in the beginning. Actually, I messed up because I meant to go for the uh, tarot cards first and then I was going to go for these uh, cards. However, as I was talking in the beginning, I picked these up. So I kind of played it off and I just laid the cards out as if it was natural. See, y'all didn't even know that. Anyway, vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So again, if there has indeed been a situation here where someone in the past has been very defensive and they were on the fence, maybe they were blocking someone out and it caused 
And I'm sure that that was not the only thing that happened. If that was the case in this relationship or whatever the situation was, I'm sure there were other things. But the most important thing right now is to look at the bigger picture. Look at the entire scope of the situation. All right. Okay, here we go. Looking at things um, very closely, you know, using that mirror right there. Reflect, reflecting, reflections, loyalty. Wait a minute. Reflections. Wasn't that a um, title of one of your videos months ago? I feel as if it was or it was something associated with that. So anyway, if it was, go check out that video. It might have something to do with this reading too. Loyalty, your reliability, demonstration, loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. So there we go with the loyalty card and there we go with the vision card. So having the bigger picture, seeing the bigger picture, being able to expand our views and learning just to be loyal to ourselves. Loyalty, loyalty goes a long way. So we can't be loyal to other people when we're not being loyal to ourselves. But pretty much what this is saying is now there seems to be a degree of trust here. Um, you know, with whatever this situation is. Now back here with what we started out with, with these um, crazy ass people back here or whatever this was going on. Oh, uh -uh, we're fighting y'all off. Y'all have nothing to do with this. But going forward in the future, now these this has reestablished um, a sense of loyalty. Well, not a sense of loyalty, but just plain out loyalty and trust as well. So Libra, that's pretty much it. As I said, Y'all let me know what happens and um, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button. And um, that's pretty much it. I will talk to you all later. Bye.